Hey guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys and well, first of all, Happy New Year everybody. Yeah. So yeah. I guess uh, with uh, that being uh, said, welcome everybody to the year 2023. So um, so yeah. <coughs> So yeah, 2022 is officially behind us right about now, and uh, and yeah, 2023 has officially begun uh, not too uh, long ago. So um, so yeah, quite a whole log uh, for uh, sure. And uh, and I guess if anything, did you like the uh, new logo and some of the new massive changes that we've uh, made to uh, our uh, YouTube channels? Yeah. Um, uh, I guess I kind of figured to uh, go for a much more professional uh, level uh, this time uh, for, of course, my channel because, well, I love doing what I do uh, for uh, sure and I want to keep it uh, going for uh, some time. So, um, so yeah, I guess I kind of figured some of the outdated stuff is uh, officially gone for the uh, channel and some brand new stuff is uh, now officially here right about now. So, um, <coughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think of that hang guy. Uh, and if it's uh, something uh, that I should uh, keep uh, for uh, for quite a long time now, so so yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can see on that. And of course, uh, big uh, big special thanks to uh, my friend Melissa for uh, crafting the new logo that uh, we've made for our channel that we're going to be using permanently uh, for uh, sure. So um, so yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can see on that front. And uh, and of course, number two. Well, I think you're starting to uh, notice right but now my voice is uh, getting itself back to normal right about now, so... So, yeah. I'll admit it's actually quite tough uh, for a shirt because, well, my voice going uh, all because uh, I actually uh, had a rough time uh, battling COVID uh, last month, and that's right before Christmas. <coughs> it was tough, uh, yes, Bogum. But hey, I think it's safe to say that I uh, did uh, surviving in the end, and yeah, that was of course uh, really uh, the biggest, uh, toughest thing that I had to face because I never actually uh, lost my voice uh, in my entire life uh, for a sure so. So yeah, so yeah, I think it's uh, good to know that uh, my voice is starting to get itself uh, back to normal right about now, so it should be fully uh, within the next week, so. I guess all I can do now is, of course, uh, down some more uh, tea and honey, and I should be uh, good to go. Although, I am still dealing with, of course, uh, my uh, chest cold and my cough and stuff uh, that still need to be uh, worked out a whole lot more. So, um, so, yeah, hopefully within the next week, I will make a full-on recovery uh, for uh, sure and get myself fully uh, back to normal uh, as we uh, speak. So, so, yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can see on that front, and... Like I said, uh, I know I did promise that I will do uh, pretty much a, a list of, of course, uh, my favorite movies of 2022, as well as, of course, uh, another list of, of course, uh, some movies I'm excited to uh, see for uh, this year. So, <coughs> so yeah, like I said, uh, those will come at a later time uh, for uh, sure, uh, because, well, I had to deal with, of course, uh, what I've got going on uh, about uh, now, so, um, so yeah, not to worry about a thing. They, uh, it is coming uh, as we uh, speak. Uh, just give me some time to, of course, uh, give me a full-on recovery and get myself uh, back to normal first. So, um, so yeah, I guess it's what I can say on that front. So, um, so yeah, I guess uh, it is actually a huge bummer that I actually couldn't do that uh, for uh, sure. But, but hey, I guess if anything, uh, the show must go on as uh, normal. So, um. So yeah, I guess right up until those uh, two lists are right by now, I think it's actually quite fitting that I should go ahead and talk about today's uh, movie uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, I guess to uh, ring in the new year uh, for uh, sure, I think it makes sense to, of course, uh, well, like I'm doing, of course, uh, every single uh, year uh, when uh, January officially comes around to start things uh, off, that I would actually uh, take some time to, of course, uh, Pretty much, uh, well, aside from uh, seeing a new movie uh, to, of course, kickstart the uh, new year, that I think uh, I should probably uh, talk about uh, one. <coughs> that I should talk about one movie that uh, I didn't actually get a chance to uh, talk about that. I kind of think uh, that I've decided to save until this month to officially uh, talk about for sure. So, 
So yeah, and I guess uh, for uh, today's uh, movie, it is exactly uh, that uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I guess with that being said, uh, for uh, today's movie right about now, I think it's uh, quite fitting that we should start off my movie-going experience for 2023 this year with, of course... With, of course, uh, today's movie that I have the privilege to officially uh, go see not too long ago, which is, of course, I Want to Dance with Somebody, so... So, yeah, it is, of course, the uh, latest movie that came out uh, right around in the last few weeks of uh, December that uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, go see around that uh, time. But I did save until right around this month to officially uh, see it for sure. And, and it is, of course, a uh, musical biopic uh, centering around uh, one of the most uh, talented uh, artists uh, in the uh, past uh, few decades, which is, of course, Whitney Houston. So... So yeah, I guess it uh, makes sense for me to uh, talk about it uh, here today, and, well, I gotta give you guys something uh, until something's uh, come around uh, for sure, so, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that. Alright. Alright, so uh, before I could go ahead and talk about this uh, latest movie... I think, think of how I did mention Whitney Houston, I think it's actually uh, quite fitting that I should probably mention her in this case, and, uh, and, well, I guess you might, uh, you might not recognize her uh, name, uh, but, but I think I know for sure you'll definitely recognize, uh, her music uh, for uh, sure, so, <coughs> so, yeah, I guess if, uh, if, if anything, uh, when it comes to a uh, world-renowned artist uh, that's uh, been around uh, for a sure, specifically from, of course, uh, the uh, 80s and 90s uh, for a sure, uh, I guess there's uh, no doubt in my mind that Whitney Houston is, of course, uh, definitely uh, one of them uh, for a uh, sure, and, and how can you not actually uh, love her for a uh, sure? Uh, she's actually got a really talented uh, voice. She is a uh, crafted guy. Uh, or, of course, uh, saying some uh, really incredible songs, like, of course, uh, like the uh, title of the movie, I Want to Dance with Somebody, and, of course, uh, I'll Always Love You, and, uh, and yeah, that's just to uh, name me a few uh, as we uh, speak, uh, for a sure, so... <coughs> so, yeah, I guess, if anything, Whitney Houston has uh, pretty much uh, been uh, a, a staple uh, for, of course, uh, some uh, recognizable uh, songs uh, during her uh, time, uh, for a sure, and... Uh, and even after her uh, passing, uh, she's still uh, well known in, of course, the uh, music uh, industry for sure. And uh, her songs have been uh, played uh, numerous uh, times uh, for sure. So, <coughs> so yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can say on that front uh, for sure. And for while I, uh, for while I never actually uh, got myself. Uh, fully into, of course, uh, all of her uh, music, uh, for uh, sure. I know for sure that uh, Whitney Houston is, of course, a, a really talented uh, musician, uh, for uh, sure, so... So, yeah. That's, act uh, that's actually what I can say on uh, that uh, front, uh, for uh, sure, so... <coughs> so, yeah. When I actually uh, heard the uh, news uh, that they were going to be doing a biopic uh, centering around uh, the uh, talented musician... Honestly, I never actually uh, anticipated to, of course, uh, see this movie, but I did uh, get a little curious at the uh, same time, and I do wonder how they're going to pull it off uh, in uh, such a way uh, for uh, sure. So, um, so, yeah, and I know that's uh, saying a whole lot because uh, we have seen uh, plenty of uh, biopics uh, centering around well-renowned uh, musicians for uh, quite some time, and those have actually uh, done uh, very, very well uh, for uh, sure. So, <coughs> So yeah, I was actually uh, wondering uh, if uh, this uh, movie will actually probably be on the uh, same level as we uh, speak, so... So yeah, and of course, uh, I actually uh, did go see this with my mom because, well, she really wanted to uh, see this movie uh, badly, so I guess I just had to uh, tag along with her uh, just in uh, case, so... Um, so yeah, and of course I just literally got back from of course uh, seeing it uh, not too long ago as a pretty uh, good way to of course uh, kick off the new year for uh, sure and well now that I've actually uh, got out of of course uh, seeing it, what do I think of this uh, movie overall? 
Well, I guess I, for me personally, I do know why. Uh, I do know there's no doubt in my mind that Whitney Houston is, of course, a really talented musician. But I guess in the case of this movie, honestly, uh, to me, it's just average. It's not great. It's not awful. It's just average. Yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that front. I mean, yeah, I don't hate this uh, movie. I don't think it's actually that great. It's a uh, kind of a decent flick uh, for me. And yeah, I guess it's uh, probably the uh, best way I can uh, describe this movie uh, for sure. It is okay. Just okay. Yeah, just not good, not bad. It's just okay. Simple as that. So... So yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that front. All right. All right, so uh, now that I've got the uh, short version out of the way, I think I might as well go ahead and talk about everything that I need to uh, talk about. Um, for starters, is of course the story for of course this movie, and uh, and I mean all honesty. I'll give it credit that uh, it actually uh, does do a fine job, and of course, well, actually uh, giving me uh, something I would expect uh, for a sure, uh, just a really, really nice uh, flow out uh, story, uh, of course, uh, what goes uh, what goes on in Whitney Houston's life and career uh, for a sure, and honestly, I think it actually uh, does have some really good ideas that they uh, want to uh, throw in for a sure, and many of which actually does uh, capture, uh, of course, uh, what happened during uh, Whitney Houston's uh, life uh, for a sure. But at the same time, though, uh, I do kind of feel uh, that it is actually uh, quite choppy uh, from, of course, what I've actually uh, seen uh, for a sure, like, uh, like a good number of uh, parts uh, that we've uh, seen as part of uh, Whitney Houston's uh, life has actually gone by so fast, and, uh, and at the same time, it actually slows down at uh, certain parts in uh, for a sure that uh, oh, excuse me, so that I actually had a hard time uh, following through on, uh, of course, uh, what goes on uh, and uh, see uh, what's gonna happen uh, for a sure. And plus, I think uh, probably I think pretty much uh, if anything, uh, I do recall I think uh, maybe a select number of uh, parts uh, of Whitney Houston's life must have been uh, missing at some point. Like, like there's hardly any time to, of course, uh, establish, uh, of course, uh, pretty much in her uh, beginnings uh, for sure and uh, how uh, she actually got her life and career going. Uh, like, uh, like, maybe I think if they uh, could have actually added those uh, in uh, for a uh, much uh, longer uh, running time, I think we would have actually gotten something a uh, whole lot more interesting. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, story-wise, it does have some good ideas and follow through on uh, the uh, musician's life and career. But at the same time, I just kind of thought it was a big, uh, too choppy, I got best uh, for sure. So, so, yeah, and of course, to top it all off, the writing for, of course, this movie, uh, honestly, to me, I just... Uh, Kind of thought it wasn't actually uh, probably the best I've actually uh, seen in a biopic uh, by far. Literally, like, a good number of a uh, chunk of, of course, uh, the movie screenplay. Uh, I just kind of thought uh, it's uh, not really that written out uh, very well. And I think a good number of uh, parts uh, is... Uh, I wasn't actually fully engaged uh, script-wise, uh, for uh, sure. And, uh, and, yeah, I think it's almost like... Uh, they might have actually uh, worked with, of course, uh, probably, I think, uh, probably with, like, uh, the past uh, few drafts uh, for sure, and uh, not really giving it time to uh, finalize it to actually make it all the more uh, engaging uh, for sure. So, um, so yeah, maybe I think a rewrite or two might actually uh, would work out uh, much better uh, for sure, but no. I just kind of thought the writing in this uh, movie just doesn't work in my opinion, so... Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much what I can say for those two right about now. Alright. Alright, so, uh, now that I've got those two out of the way, uh, well, uh, I guess I might as well uh, go ahead and talk about the next couple of things uh, in this movie, which are, of course, well, the characters, and... Honestly, if there's one thing that I can say positively about this, uh, 
movie for sure. I'll admit the uh, characters in this movie, based around their uh, real life counterparts, are actually uh, quite uh, engaging for sure. Literally, like every single one of them I've actually seen on screen, I actually uh, do uh, find myself establishing, uh, of course, uh, each and every single one of them. And I was actually fully engaged with. Uh, what I've actually uh, seen uh, from them and actually got a really good sense of developing uh, from each and every single uh, one of them uh, for sure. So, <coughs> so yeah, I guess if uh, anything, uh, that's actually the one uh, thing that I can't say positively about this uh, movie uh, for sure. Uh, the characters, I will have to say, they actually have a really good sense of development and actually uh, have a full-on understanding, of course, uh, who they are and what they are uh, trying to uh, do. So, so yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can say on that front. And and I guess another positive thing that I can say about this uh, movie is that, uh, honestly, uh, pretty much of anything, the actors playing all these characters, I'll admit they actually did give off some uh, pretty good performances. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, they uh, had to uh, work with, of course, a... Uh, Pretty rough and uh, not really uh, engaging script uh, for sure, but but with what I've actually uh, seen, I did find myself uh, actually impressed with, of course, uh, their uh, performances uh, for sure. Like uh, I really do admire uh, Stanley Tucci as, of course, uh, Winnie Houston's uh, record uh, executive, uh, which is of course uh, Clive. So um, so yeah, he's actually a whole lot of fun to uh, watch and. Yeah, given for the fact that uh, he's actually done well in some other movies, that uh, some of which I've actually uh, seen. Yeah, I guess there's no doubt in my mind. Stanley Tucci has, of course, uh, gave out a really good performance uh, for sure. And uh, and speaking about uh, Whitney Houston, I should probably uh, also mention the actress playing uh, Whitney Houston, of course, this movie, who is, of course, uh, Naomi Ackle. And, uh, and honestly, to me, I think she actually is the perfect choice to play Whitney Houston uh, for uh, sure. Uh, she just uh, looks like her, sounds like her, and she even sings like her uh, for uh, sure. So, um, so yeah, with what I've actually uh, seen uh, entirely, I'm actually impressed with, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen. Naomi actually uh, really does perfect Whitney Houston uh, quite well, and, and I really do uh, love the... Uh, Really nice, uh, no bullshit attitude that uh, she's uh, given to her uh, character for a shirt. Which, honestly, I think that's uh, probably I think on uh, how the real uh, Whitney Houston actually acting uh, for a shirt. So, so yeah, that's actually the one thing I can say. Uh, Naomi actually really does uh, capture Whitney Houston uh, quite well uh, for a shirt. So. So yeah, I guess if anything, the characters and the actors, and of course this movie. Yeah, honestly, they are the uh, massive uh, positives that I can say uh, entirely for uh, sure. Uh, yeah, sure, like I said, they uh, had to uh, work with, of course, uh, both the story and the writing, uh, to which, yeah, does have some good ideas, but in the end are just kind of weak and uh, best bugger. Uh, but yeah, the characters and the actors are definitely the uh, positive things that I can say so far in, of course, this movie. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that. Alright, All right, so uh, now that I've actually got those two out of the way, what else is there for me to uh, talk about? Well, quite a whole lot, actually. <coughs> so for starters, seeing if how uh, they, uh, it is, of course, a movie about Whitney Houston, of course they're going to have to uh, throw in the uh, songs uh, that uh, she's actually done throughout her uh, time and career, uh, for uh, sure, and... And I think the way they've actually uh, blending in her uh, music to uh, help go along with the uh, flow with, of course, uh, this movie, I have to say, actually does uh, tie in uh, very, very well uh, for uh, sure. Everything from, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen uh, really does uh, have a really good uh, balance uh, that uh, I didn't actually uh, notice uh, for uh, sure. And the way they've actually utilized it uh, entirely is actually quite impressive, so... So yeah, and of course, uh, if anything, uh, the one thing uh, I will admit is probably I think the uh, decent uh, thing that I can say is of course it's production. So um, so yeah, I think the way they've actually uh, utilized uh, this uh, movie entirely is actually uh, somewhat, uh, some of them actually uh, turned out well, while others I just kind of thought were a bit off uh, for uh, sure. So um, so I think for starters, uh, the uh, color and the lighting, even the uh, utilize uh, saga pieces they've actually uh, 
plug in for of course this one is uh, actually quite impressive but at the same time the visuals and the effects i just kind of thought were a bit off aga pesa uh, and uh and yeah maybe i think they could have used a bit more tweaking to uh actually uh make it uh all the more impressive so on so yeah I guess, uh, if anything, uh, that's uh, probably the only downside that I can say on that I got front uh, for a sure. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, with all those combined, it does make a uh, pretty decent uh, production. Uh, they've uh, organized to uh, help uh, make this movie. Also, I think I will have to uh, say the pacing uh, for this uh, film, uh, honestly, like it's a story. I just kind of thought uh, there are uh, it's uh, not really flowed out uh, very well. Like I said, there. Are, Good number of parts that went by too fast, and uh, other times uh, it would actually go uh, too slow. Like, uh, yeah, I actually really had a hard time actually uh, getting myself a uh, hooked on, uh, of course, uh, what goes on uh, for uh, sure. At least try to take your time uh, entirely. Uh, just don't rush everything uh, that you uh, want to rush, and don't slow down everything that you want to slow down. So, so yeah, try taking your time to uh, get things uh, going uh, for uh, sure. So. So yeah, and of course, uh, the direction in this uh, film, I just kind of thought was a big uh, off in my opinion. Uh, I mean, sure, there are some that are actually uh, done fine, uh, but I wasn't actually uh, engaged on, of course, a uh, few other uh, parts that I wasn't actually uh, fully engaged on for a sure so. So yeah, but I will say uh, the uh, cinematography, I have to say, is actually uh, done uh, very, very impressively as a actually uh, provided some uh, really, really great camera shots, and uh, I actually do see what uh, goes down uh, for uh, sure, so, so yeah, it's cinematography is uh, definitely well done, and I'm actually impressed, and also uh, for the uh, film's A, again, it's kind of hit and miss uh, for uh, sure, right, uh, some parts are A well, but other times it's just uh, kind of thought we're way too uh, choppy uh, for uh, sure, so, so yeah, but most importantly, uh, I do love uh, for the uh, fact that the uh, <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. So um, so yeah, I really love the uh, fact that the uh, actually are capturing, uh, of course, uh, the uh, life and career of Whitney Houston. But again, I kind of thought uh, a good number of uh, parts uh, were not really uh, neat as uh, I would expect it, to go, or of course, uh, some parts of it are just missing, and uh, I kind of thought the. Uh, probably should have actually uh, put all those uh, back to uh, make it all, all the more impressive like uh so yeah like if anything uh, maybe I think we could actually uh, see uh, what goes on for a uh, Whitney Houston as a uh, child before she uh, decided to uh, take up a uh, singing uh, for a uh, sure or what led her to of course uh, start uh, singing or what her inspiration is uh, and um and yeah, all that other stuff that I think could have actually uh, made this uh, film a whole lot uh, better uh, for a uh, sure so. <coughs> so yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can say on that front. So, so yeah. Alright. Alright, so um, that's pretty much everything that I can say uh, about now. So... Um, so yeah, I guess all in all, I Want to Dance with Somebody does actually have some uh, really impressive ideas and I really do love, uh, of course, uh, how well they want to uh, capture the uh, life and career of Whitney Houston, but at the same time, it just uh, kind of feels like uh, it's a bit mellowed down uh, for sure, and uh, all we got uh, instead of, of course, a really great biopic is, of course, a um, rock of the mill kind of decent uh, flick at uh, best uh, for uh, sure, so um, so yeah, I don't hate it entirely, nor do I think it's actually a great movie by all means. I do kind of thought it's an okay one at best. I mean, I mean, I know that's uh, not saying a whole lot because I wasn't really anticipating uh, for this uh, movie to actually uh, to actually be good or actually have any intention of seeing it uh, for a sure bugger. Uh, but hey, I did want to. Uh, have a good time with my mom uh, for uh, sure so so yeah I guess it's uh, safe to say that I am glad that I saw it but I just wish it could have been a whole lot uh, better so um but yeah it wouldn't be too bad if they could have actually uh try to utilize the uh, life and styling of course the career of Whitney Houston uh done well liking of course well Elvis or Bohemian Rhapsody so um 
So, yeah, I guess I can't even uh, say it's actually a great film or even terrible by all means, but I do think it is a decent one at best, so take that for what it's worth. So, so yeah, I guess on a technical level, I see a movie on its own it is, it is definitely a decent one at uh, best, but, um, but as, of course, uh, something that represents uh, pretty much uh, the uh, life itself of one of the uh, greatest uh, singers of all time, all I can say is, I think this is definitely a one song that is in desperate need of a massive rewrite. Yeah, not just a love for a sure, but in need of a desperate rewrite. So, so yeah, I guess it's a what I can't say on that front. I don't hate it. I don't think it's that great. It's okay at best. And because of that, well, I guess the only thing I can give it right, but now for my final score, is a 5.5 out of 10. So, um... So yeah, not good, not bad, just somewhere in between uh, for us, sure, so um, so yeah. Like I said, I am glad that I saw it uh, for us, uh, sure, and well, I guess uh, for this being uh, an official start for, uh, for my movie-going experience for 2023 this year, honestly, I would be expecting a whole lot better uh, for us, uh, sure, but, but hey, I guess uh, there's no excuse in my mind saying that uh, this movie is... An okay one to check out, so um, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that. All right, all right. So I guess on that thought, I'll pretty much uh, do exactly that. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest uh, thoughts video, and uh, and I guess of anything, uh, I think I might as well ask. What do you think of, uh, I Want to Dance with Somebody? Do you think it actually, uh, represents the, uh, life and career of, of course, uh, Whitney Houston quite well? Do you think it, uh, actually, uh, didn't actually, uh, see uh, what you're, uh, hoping for, uh, resulting, of course, uh, a meltdown flick? Or, uh, or are you like me and, uh, be somewhere in between, uh, of course, this one? So, so yeah, definitely leave, uh, your, uh, thoughts on this, uh, latest, uh, movie in the, uh, comment section below if you, uh, want to share with me, uh, your own uh, thoughts on, of course, this movie, so... <coughs> so, yeah, I guess it's uh, what I can say on that front, so... So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest thoughts video, and, uh... And, yeah, I guess uh, for uh, my uh, next one, uh... I assure you, uh, there's gonna be more coming up on the way, because, well... I do hope, uh, the, uh... Yeah, I think if anything, uh, it's a bit of a uh, okay start, but I definitely know uh, my movie-going experience uh, for 2023 is about to start to explode over right about now. So, um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to go see next uh, for sure, because there's a lot of uh, movies coming out for, of course, this year. So, um, so I'll definitely let you guys know, uh, of course, what ones I'm uh, planning to go see, and of course, uh, which ones I... Uh, that uh, I'll be uh, sharing with you my uh, thoughts on. So, so yeah, and like I said, uh, I'll definitely uh, get on my uh, to a list that uh, I actually uh, mentioned uh, once I actually uh, get myself fully recovered uh, about now because, well, given to uh, the uh, sound of my voice, uh, it is starting to uh, sound that way uh, for uh, sure. So, um, so, yeah, and that's another thing. I definitely uh, will get a new uh, outro for, of course, uh, this uh, channel uh, out of the uh, way. So, so yeah, you won't be uh, hearing um, me uh, rambling on my self-promotion uh, like I did in the past several years uh, for a uh, sure so. So yeah, good start to, of course, uh, this year for, of course, my channel. And I'm excited to see uh, what comes down next. So, so yeah, right up until then, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.